Hey yo, welcome back. Benny Vapes here with another review. So today, what we're going to be looking at is an e-liquid that I got sent over from Jay at the Roxford Project, and it is his five-year anniversary special release. And a lemon meringue tart. So as you know, I'm a big fan of Crimson Seed. If you haven't test tried that, I will put a little ticker there. Go and have a look and see what I thought of it, but I think it's a banger. It's it's up there with my best strawberry um, e-liquid vape that I've ever tried. It is absolutely phenomenal. So if you do like strawberries, definitely pick that one up. But he also brought out a lemon curd at the same time, um, which is most curious curdle. That is really, really nice. You know, so try that as well. And he's got some others on, on line. Um, so you've got your, I'll read off a menu card that you get. So you've got your, obviously, your black vine you've also got the lemon lush which is fantastic you've got strawberry cream you've got raspberry milk you've got slightly twisted which is a twister lolly and you've got cookie so that is his line that's what you've got i have tried lemon lush which is a banger i've tried black vine it's nice but it's not in my flavor profile you know so it, it is nice i can appreciate it but I, I, it's not my top top ones um, it's nice for a change, but I, I'm not that sort of person that likes that black currant grape sort of taste on it, you know. So each to their own on that one. But lemon lush is a banger. Crimson seed is off at scale. Um, lemon meringue, uh, lemon tart, uh, ca oh, bloody hell, lemon curd is really really nice, you know. So go check them out. Um, so he has sent these over. It is the five year anniversary. As it says there, five year anniversary. So it is an anniversary liquid. And he sent two bottles out. So why he sent two, oh geez, nearly dropped them both. Why he sent two bottles out is because he says with this e-liquid that he does recommend to get the bakery notes out and everything is to give it a one to two week steep. So when he nicked this up for me um, and sent it out, he let it steep a little bit. And what I'm going to do on this, I'm going to do it on two different RDAs. So, like I say, the left-hand side one has got the nick on it, which is this one. And this one has this one's the one that I've just put a nick shot in just now. So, yeah, um, that came without any nicotine in it, you know, as you would get it. But, like I say, he does say leave it and give it a good steep. You know, I know it's hard when you've got an e-liquid that you really want to try or you've got an e-liquid that you wanting to use straight away you know you like it but obviously if you're putting a nicotine shot on it is better to leave it to steep a little bit and let it all mix in than rather than you know put it in a shaking bit if it's fruit you can get away with it but it still tastes better when you've left it steeping in there you know give it at least 24 hours but he is recommending this a one to two week steep so that's just to bear in mind if you're wanting to get the best flavor out of it leave it alone so, as normal, what you get, like I say, you get your menu card in it, which is always fantastic. This is what you'll get when you get in your package. You will get a menu card. You'll probably get the little sticker that you get with it, because he always puts a little sticker in. And you also get your personal letter, which this one is a personal letter to myself, telling me about it and what he'd done, so I knew which was which. Um, but when you get this one, you will get it in a little envelope, and that will be your um, invoice and I'll have a little personal note in it. And it's the best packaging that I've ever ever had from them. You know, so I've never had any other e-liquid company that sends so much out and so much detail and thanks you personally. It's just, you know, I, I think it's phenomenal what he does. So what we're going to be using it on is, as normal, we're going to be using the Nudge 22 with an NI80 coil coming out at 0 0.22 and rocking it at 50 watts. We're also going to be using... The DJ, the DJV, <laughs> I forgot what it was called. DJV 1234567 with the Dead Rabbit version 2 on top. And in there, I've got some dual um, fuse Claptons in, and they're coming out at 0 0.18. So it's, it, they're near the same. I, I can't get them bob on because it's a dual one, you know, and one's a single coil. But that's the only drippers that I had um, at hand because I don't have many. Single I've got the Wasp Nano somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So that were the nearest ones that I could um, wick up and, you know, 
put the coil in so I could, you know, test these out. So what we're going to do is we're going to try the one with the nicotine in first. So this is the one that's been steeping, that's had the nicotine in the longest. So what we're going to do is we'll give it a little shake and then we'll have a little bit of a smell. You can definitely smell the lemon on it, you know, and I'm getting a slight little smell of a, a bakery note, but not a great deal. So, like I say, I have pre-wicked it, and I have pre-juiced it, but like I always say, it's always nice to have a nice, moist, wet wick. So we'll dribble a little bit more down. So let's take her for the blast. Right, so it's a little bit different than what the lemon meringues that I've tasted before. You know, because your normal lemon meringues is like your dinner ladies, you know, lemon meringue tart. This is slightly different. This is more of the meringue first, and then the lemon, rather than the lemon in your face, then the meringue. You know, because if you taste the lemon tart, you get the full-on lemon, and then the lemon meringue. Which, this one, you're getting the sweet meringue, and then I'm getting a slight undertone of the um lemon base and then a slight little hint of uh of the um pastry but not a great deal it is just like the way you would eat a meringue you know that if you've took the meringue and you eat that first and you start eating into it it's exactly like that It is all there. It is all, you know, subtle. It's not full on lemon. It's not right in your face. It's not the lemon curd where it's right in your face and you can taste it. It's a lemon curd. This is just undertones, undertones all the way through. You're getting the meringue, you're getting the lemon, and then you're getting the base, you know, the pastry base. That's what you're getting. So you get more of the meringue on the inhale and then on the exhale, you're getting the lemon, you're getting the base with it and then the meringue mix in it's really really nice to be honest with you so that was the one that was nicked up and has been steeping since i've got it you know so obviously he steeped it and then you know i've left it a little bit so we will move on to as you can see it's still here i will show you the label it is really really nice all these labels are lovely you can see that it says lemon meringue on it plain and simple tells you everything about it on the back there made in england tells you all the warnings and everything you know, so that's how you, so this one is how you would get it. So it does come as your 60ml shortfall with 50ml pre-mix in it with enough room to put your 10 mil, ten milliliter nicotine shot in. So if you put an 18 milligram nicotine shot in, it will bring it out to 3 milligram if you so wish. Like I say, labels are absolutely fantastic, as you can see. You know, tells you exactly what it is and everything. So... And it up and smell. We'll see if it, if I get this sweetness or all like that. So we'll get a little bit of smell. I'm getting a little bit more of the lemon on that one. That's what I'm getting. So I have pre-wicked it and I've pre-juiced it. You know, and as I'm saying, I'm going to use in the DJV one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with the Dead Rabbit V2 on top with two fuse slapsons in flap fuse clapsons, not flapsons. <laughs> Coming out at 0 0.18, and as before, we're going to be rocking it at the eddy heights of 50 watts. So like I said to you before, I have pre-wicked it, and I have pre-juiced it, but I will dribble a little bit more down. Bear in mind, this is the one that's non-steeped, it's just a fresh off the bat, as if, I, you know, like you would do, straight off, put a nicotine shot and give it a shake, and bang, in you go. So let's take it for a blast. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more of the lemon. You're getting more of the lemon on it, on the inhale, and on the exhale, I'm getting more of the lemon. And then you're just getting a really, really slight hint of the meringue and the pastry. 
and that's because it's not steep. So everything, the lemon is up front because the lemons, you know, everything else has got to blend with it. And that's why he's saying that you've got to leave it to settle and steep a little bit. You know, put your nicotine in it and let it steep, let it infuse because the lemon's just taking everything over on this. You're not getting a lot of anything else. You're not getting the pastry. Still a nice lemon, it is, and you're getting the sweet meringue, but you're getting it the opposite way, you're getting a lemon up front, and then you're getting a sweet meringue, and then you're losing everything else, and it just tastes like just a normal lemon, to be honest with you. you know, if you get a lemon meringue, it, it's what most tastes like, but with it steeping, with you leaving it, you're getting a proper meringue, a lemon, and then the base. Whereas straight off the bat, you just, it's nice, you will be able to vape it, you can vape it straight off the bat, but you're not getting the full tones out of it, you're not getting the full characteristics of a lemon meringue. Bear in mind, it is sweet, it's definitely sweet, so if you do like your sweet flavours, you're going to enjoy it, because it's really, really nice. It's nice with just a nick shot in, it's better leaving it to steep. It's more in depth, it's more complex. It tastes far superior because you're getting the sweet, as I said, you're getting the sweet meringue, you're getting the undertones of the lemon, you're getting the more of the of the base, pastry base, where straight off the bat, shake and bake, you're just getting lemon, a little bit of meringue, and no base. So I would definitely recommend it if you do, do like, you know, like your lemon tarts. Um, definitely pick this one up. I think leaving it for a steep, it takes over all the rest of the lemon tarts that I've tasted. If you don't leave it to steep, it's just like every other lemon tart you're going to taste like, you know, where you're getting the more of the lemon than the meringue. Whereas if you leave it for a week, you're going to get more of the meringue, you're going to get the lemon, and then you're going to get the base. So 100%, if you are going to get this, leave it for at least a week, you know, three days, at the, you know, at the least. But if you can do a week to two weeks, and you're going to get the full experience out of it, so yeah, I think that that's another winner from him. So we've been looking at the five year anniversary lemon meringue from the Rochford project. So like I say, do go over and show him some love. You know, he does sponsor the Three Man and the Vape show. So if you do want a little disc a cheeky discount code, go over there and while the show's on, you can go over and buy some and use the dis use the discount code that Three Men have. You know, so go try that out. And if you wanted to pick them up, but if you do want to pick them up, just go over to Jay's site. That's a Rochford Project. If you type it in um, Google Full, you will find it. Rochford Project um, Vape or whatever you want. It'll, it'll come up. It'll, Rochford Project E Liquid. It'll come up. So I would like to thank Jay for sending this out for the re for the review. Bloody hell, can't get my words out for the review. Much appreciated, mate. You've done another banger. Absolutely. Um, I think this, if you're only going to release it for a little bit, you know, as a five year anniversary, I'd keep it on because I think you're going to be onto a winner with, with it, to be honest with you, mate. So I hope you found this video informative. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. You can also find me on a Wednesday night. You can also find me on a Sunday night. Wednesday night, we have the UK e liquid mixing show. Sunday night, we have NUVS all at nine o'clock, all on this channel. I will put a link to a video that I think you might enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.